Well, there are many uh, uh, ways to investigate. Uh, people have looked at uh, addition of uh, pertuzumab, of course, and that's now a reality uh, to synergize, to block the dimerization of receptors to start signaling in addition to having an anti-HER2 approach with trastuzumab itself. One attaches to a domain 2 and the other to domain 4 of the extracellular portion of the HER2 receptor. And uh, uh, using small molecule tyrosine kinase inhibitors such as lapatinib that would work intracellularly. Or using antibody drug conjugates such as TDM1. And then downstream signaling at the uh, mTOR level, mammalian target of rapamycin with uh, drugs like uh, everolimus. Uh, that has been looked at in Bolero 1, Bolero 3. The problem is Bolero 1, which showed a seven-month improvement in PFS, did not quite reach statistical significance. And Bolero 3, which was with vinorelbine in third line or beyond setting, uh, did reach statistical significance, but the benefit was uh, barely five weeks. So one was clinically insignificant, statistically significant. The other one was clinically meaningful seven-month improvement, but statistically did not approach significance. So those will remain experimental approaches. Other approaches that are being looked at are, of course, uh, uh, combining uh, by specific antibodies or antibody drug conjugates like uh, MM332. There's uh, MM111, which takes heregulin positive subset of HER2 because the most potent dimer is HER2 with HER3 for signaling. So that bispecific antibody binds to both HER2 and HER3 to stop signaling. And then you can uh, combine uh, some bispecific antibodies like HER2 TDB, which was presented at uh, last San Antonio meeting uh, by a uh, representative of uh, Genentech. Uh, if you combine anti pdl one drugs such as uh, nivolumab or pembrolizumab, that appears to be a very promising approach. Vaccines are being developed. Um, heat shock protein 90 inhibitors such as ganetzepib uh, by Senta. So there's a slew of activity going on currently, and not to mention CDK4-6 inhibitors, cell cycle inhibitors. So it's a very exciting time to be doing research in this space.